Hello guys, I'm back. In this video, you will learn the first five steps that a fresh chemical process engineer must do to get a job in plant design. My name is Jefferson Costa, and my mission is to oversimplify chemical process engineering and plant design to you. As many of you, I was totally lost when I finished my graduation, and I didn't know how to get my first job as a chemical process engineer. The university prepared me to be a generalist chemical engineer and I didn't feel confident to perform any kind of work in the industry. On that time, the YouTube was not so popular, there was no LinkedIn and I didn't have any chemical engineer to support me on my decisions. Now, 15 years later, I am here to support you and to help you to avoid these kind of feelings. I will give you the first five steps that I believe that is most important to you perform or to you get control of your career and start working with chemical process engineering and plan design. To begin with, most often universities prepare us to be generalist chemical process engineers. So the first step that you must do to get a job is to find a field of expertise that fits to you. There are many fields of expertise in chemical engineering and I will share with you, I will show you three of them right now. The first one is research and development and this field of expertise is related to the development of products in a lab or pilot scale. Most often the job requirements asks for master, doctorates because a high level of academic ability is required. The second one is operations. As a chemical process engineer working in operations, your main duty is to improve and optimize process. And because of that, your main goals are to increase productivity and reduce losses of the company. Finally, the nicest field of expertise for chemical engineers is plant design. As a chemical process engineer working with plant design, your main goal is to achieve the scope, cost, and schedule of a project. We are responsible for doing the designing, sizing, selection of equipment and process, but in an industrial scale. If we get these three fields of expertise, you can verify that the research and development are responsible for developing a new product in a lab and pilot scale. And once it is consolidated, the plant design team will do the erection, design, building and erection of a plant for industrial production. And the operations team are responsible for operating the plant in a more, in, a, in the most efficient way. So based on the different characteristics or goals of each field of expertise, you can expect to need to have different expertise for your background. If you want to work with research and development, you must have different skills comparing to operations. If you want to work with operations, you will have other set of skills that not necessarily are important for research and development. And the same for plan design. In this video, I will go further, I will go deeper in plant design skills needed for a chemical process engineer. But for now, just to understand, the first step you must do to get a job is to choose what is the field of expertise that you want to your career. Which one of them fits better to you in order that you feel happy to develop all the set of skills needed to work on that field of expertise. Once you have chosen the field of expertise that fits to you, as the second step to get your job in plant design, you must list all companies that are able to provide you a job on that field of expertise. For instance, here I have some multinational companies related to chemical process engineering and plant design, but you must not restrict yourself in only multinational companies. You must list and you must track what are the companies in national level in your country 
in state level in your country and also in a municipal level in your country. Because when we work as chemical process engineers in plant design, we must go where the project is or we must go where the work is. And based on that, if you are not if you are not prepared to leave from your town, from your home to get a job in plant design, the chances are that you will have much more hard times to get a job. So based on that, it's very, very important that you do a list of companies available in your country because this way you will be able to connect with people on LinkedIn. You will be able to visit the website of those companies and look for a job position and you will be able to plan where you must go to let easier for you to get a job in plan design. And that leads to the third step to get a job as a chemical process engineer in plan design. That is map the basic skills or the most wanted skills that the companies want from a chemical process engineer. When we talk about plan design, the basic sets of skills for any company that you look for is process simulation, engineering drawings, and specification data sheets. Because we need to perform the heating material balance of complex process, and most often what we use as a tool to perform that is process simulation. But the, the plant is not erected with the process simulation. We need to build or we need to develop drawings for, for many disciplines. For instance, for operations and for a representation of the heating material balance, we perform the process flow diagram. For the design of the, the plant, we perform or we develop the pipe instrumentation diagram because the other discipline will use the pipe instrumentation diagram to do their specifications, to perform their work. They will not use the process flow diagram. But to buy the equipments and control valves and pressure safety devices and etc., you, you will not use or you will not issue your process simulation, you will not issue only the pipe instrumentation diagram. You will need to issue for the vendors a specification data sheet having information related to the process conditions that is the main responsibility of the chemical process engineer, but also others information depending the kind of equipment that we are talking about too. For instance, for rotating equipment, we will have the mechanical design or specification and the electrical specification. If we are talking about static equipment, we will have only the mechanical specification together with the process conditions. So these are the minimal requirements that you must have to work with plan design. Without that, you are not able to perform your roles as a chemical process engineer in plan design. You don't need to believe on me. Let's see two or three examples on how the companies ask this kind of skills from the chemical engineer. The first one is from KBR, is a job position for a process engineer in Singapore. And you can see that the job requirements is for a fresh or junior engineer because the minimum requirements of experience is from zero to three years of experience. And what the job description says to us, the, the process engineer will perform process engineering design, so it is a job for plan design, perform process simulation, prepare process flow diagrams, utility flow diagrams, heat and material balance, perform pipe instrumentation diagram, and prepare process equipment data sheets, instruments data sheets, and it could have also process safety devices, data sheets, control valves, data sheets, and etc. So you can see that we, we have here as a summary, the process simulation, engineering drawings, and specification data sheets. Another example is from EXP. In this time is a process engineer position for Houston, USA. And what we have here is 
responsibilities for the process engineer is perform daily process engineering functions under the supervision of process engineer. And typical activities may include process simulation, again, heat and material balance, because the, process the main purpose of process simulation is perform the heat and material balance. So both of them is correlated. We will not uh, use the process simulation if you are not interested in doing a uh, heat and material balance from scratch or use the dynamic mode to optimize the heat and material balance. Process flow diagrams and pipe instrumentation diagrams, they are drawings for the chemical process engineer. Hydraulic calculations, equipment, process data, instrument, instrument process data. The process data is related to specification data sheets. One of the fields of the specification data sheets is the process data. And you will do also relief analysis and size of PSVs. When you do the analysis and size of PSVs, in fact, what you are doing is defining the required flow for this kind of device. And what you do when you define the required flow for this device is get this information and add to a specification data sheet. The hydraulic calculations are the same. You will do the pressure drop calculations and hydraulic calculations in order to do this, the sizing or selection of the best pump for your process. And those informations will be transferred to a specification data sheet in order that you issue for the vendor and the, the vendor can give you a quotation with the equipment that they have available. To finish the step three, let me share with you a last job description. This is for assistant engineer, so you can imagine that it fits for a fresh engineer. And this job position is for China and is for the best design engineering department. And what we have here is the main task for the assistant engineer. It will be, they will, he or she will be responsible for using software to simulate continuous and batch process to generate mass and heat balance for chemical units or chemical plant, prepare first draft of process flow diagram and pipe instrumentation diagram as request, support lead process and project by using simulation software to do energy and fluid dynamic calculations, for instance, heat exchangers, distillation, pumps, vaporization, separations, etc., Participate the process optimization and plan the, the bottlenecking process by using economic analysis. Let me re remind you that the main goals of a chemical process engineer in plant design is to achieve the scope, schedule, and cost. So the cost is associated with the economic analysis. So as you can see, process simulation, engineering drawings and specification data sheets are the basic set of skills that you must have to work with chemical process engineering and plant design. Now that you know the basic set of skills to work with chemical process engineering in plant design, as a step four, in my point of view, it's time to you prepare yourself to become a specialist. And when I talk that you must become a specialist, I'm not talking to you I'm not telling you that you must collect titles. You can be a specialist without a master. You can be a specialist without a PhD. To be a specialist in the point of view of the industry, you must be able to solve problems. How many times or how many years it will get to become a specialist depends on how many kinds of problems you was you were or you will be exposed to as many problems, different kinds of problems you solve and you get familiar with, the chances to become a specialist earlier or faster increases. But what helps you to become a specialist? For sure, books, you find many of them available there. And once you, uh, if you have the opportunity to refine your field of expertise, for instance, if you are applying to IPC companies that deals with oil and gas industry, you can uh, refine or restrict the kind of knowledge that you need to, to acquire to, or to get to work with oil and gas industry. 
if you are applying for uh, a separation industry, you have a set of knowledge that is uh, more relevant for this industry than other kind of industry. For instance, if you are talking about water treatment. So, books is a very good way of getting knowledge. But what I recommend to you to do is get familiar and create a habit of always reading magazines. Because magazines are written by industry people and they are more concise. You are in few, in few pages, you, you are able to get some kind of knowledge and most of them are free on internet. If you go to my YouTube channel, you will find a video where I address some top magazines for chemical process engineers. You may find the link in the description of this video. Another way to get uh, knowledge for working with chemical process engineering plant design is doing course. There are many courses available online. You don't need to be uh, present to, to do a course nowadays. You can do that online. For instance, I, if you are interested on learning how to use the Aspen High Seas Applied to Plant Design, one course available is my in-process booster training program, but there are many others available online. And other sorts of knowledge that you can get is from papers. They are very, very uh, good when you need to get a specific knowledge about uh, something. For instance, if I'm looking for dehydration, nitro gas dehydration, and I Google nitro gas dehydration, if you do your research in a correct way, you are able to find some papers that will give it to you some overview and some specific information related to natural gas dehydration. And with that, you improve your knowledge on that subject. And you can do that with many others. Another way to get knowledge is looking for YouTube videos. Although, the, uh, in my point of view, the YouTube video is to give you the direction that you must follow to get deeper on in a specific subject. So in my YouTube channel, you will find many videos to you get familiar with chemical process engineering and plan design, but I cannot tell you that you become a specialist with them because they are just the interesting, they are just the door to you get more familiar with things. Uh, if you want to get more, more familiar, get deeper with chemical process engineering and plant design, for instance, under my supervision, you need to enroll my in-process booster training program. And you always have the option to do a master degree. What the master degree will do in summary will force you to read books, will force you to read papers in order that you are able to build your own, your own understanding and producing more books and more papers. And of course, that depends on the kind of master that you are doing. If you are looking for research and development, you will develop some new ideas eventually. And you have the option also to get mentoring. That is not so common way to get knowledge in the, in the industry if you are not an employee already, but eventually you can find ways on having someone that is an experienced chemical process engineer and can give you tips, or you can apply to a, to a regular mentoring program. So the options to find knowledge on the internet and prepare, and prepare yourself to become a specialist is infinite on the internet. And the most important thing is that you bring knowledge to your life in a regular basis and it can be monthly, weekly, daily, as much knowledge that you bring to your life related to the field of expertise that you have chosen, the chances to performing better in a job interview increases, and with that, you will be able to get the job, uh, the chemical engineering job in plant design that you wish to. As is step five, and the last step for this video, it's very, very important that you do not neglect in your life 
personal development. Here you can see a chart where we have a relationship between hard skills and soft skills. Hard skills are the technical skills that you must know or learn to perform your job and solve problems. We have seen there, for instance, process simulation, engineering drawings, and specification data sheets. To be able to, to deliver those, those kind of deliver, uh, engineering deliverables, you need to have a set of hard skills. But it's very, very important to your career that you develop uh, soft skills. Soft skills are related on how you deal with yourself and with, the, with others. So, based on that, my experience is that once you get in touch with personal development content, you increase your strength to develop soft skills. The most important thing related to personal development for me is that it teaches that you are the only responsible for your results. Your father, your mother, the president, the country, the company, your boss, they are not responsible for your results. You are the only person responsible for your results. Not only that, in personal development, you pro provides you a sense of direction, so you get the correct direction. So uh, the, the five steps that I'm giving to you is part of a personal development plan. So now you have at least a direction. It keeps you motivated because when you are performing your plans, you, have, you need to set goals and big goals, small goals. And once you are achieving your goals, it keeps you in the correct direction. You can refine your existing skills, uh, identify the new skills that must be developed, you increase your confidence because it's not only a matter of dealing with other people. You learn how to deal with yourself and that is the basis for uh, the human being. How to deal with yourself. Yourself will tell you, will tell a lot who you are. And of course that you improve self-awareness. Uh, Without that, you are not able to verify where you need to improve or where you, you need to fix something. A personal development is a key step on your journey to get a job in chemical process engineering and plant design. And just before I forget, something that we are not taught during the university, you need to add to your sets of hard skills, sales and marketing because we are in a job market. Job market means that the offer and demands drives what happens in the relationship between people and companies. If you don't know how to sell your product, how to sell you, because when you go to a job interview, what you are doing is not an interview. You are selling the product that is you. You need to show how good you are or how you can help the company to solve their problems. And it is what the company is looking for. Someone to solve the problems of the company in exchange of money and time. So this is the summary. If you are able to understand that, your path to getting a job in chemical process engineering in plant design is well advanced. To summarize and finish this video, the step one is Find a field of expertise that fits to you because it will define all others steps. The step two is list all companies in your country that is related to the field of expertise that you have chosen on step one. Map most wanted chemical process engineering skills. Once you have set or chosen your field of expertise, you have listed the companies that are able to give you jobs on that field of expertise, it's time to go to the websites, to the LinkedIn, to Google and verify what are the requirements of the chemical process engineer job that you are looking for. Here you have seen the most wanted one once when we are talking about chemical process engineering and plant design. 
for operations, you will have others requirements. For research and development, you will have others requirements. Become a specialist, so add to your routine reading books, reading magazines, doing courses related to the field of expertise that you are looking for. Not only that, you have as options, papers, YouTube, do a master degree, mentoring, and etc. The important thing is that you must uh, create the habit of always getting knowledge related to the field of expertise that you are looking for. And finally, invest in personal development because it's not only hard skills that will guarantee to you a job, but also soft skills. And soft skills is related on how you deal with yourself and also how you deal with others. I can guarantee you that personal development will give you the strength that you need to perform all those steps. So guys, this is what I would like to share with you at this moment. I know that looking for a job is a hard task. And just to let you know, once I finished my graduation, I, I spent around 80, 18 months or one year and a half to get my first job as a chemical process engineer. Today, I am here in the internet with you sharing my knowledge, but it, that uh, it would not be possible if I had give up uh, 15 years ago. So don't give up. Uh, it's tough, but it's possible. The most important thing is that it is possible. So not, not give up because many people uh, during the journey will give up and that will let your life easier when you are looking for your job position. A uh, last, uh, last uh, tip or step, it's a bonus step for you, is that uh, create the habit of sharing your knowledge on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a very good platform to show you to the world what you know about chemical process engineering plant design. Once you get more knowledge based on books, magazines, courses, uh, master, and etc. Create the habit for at least one day per week sharing your knowledge on LinkedIn. Because uh, if you, you follow all those five steps here, you know what must be done. And now it's time to done things. You, you will not get things only studying, you need to do action. You need to, to move in order that the universe can, can conspire, conspire in your favor. So this is my final step, the bonus step for you. I hope you like it and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye.